Salutations, and welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365-day challenge round two. And you may be able to tell already, I have gone and gotten various mods downloaded and tested out, and I, I think it'll be okay. It'll take a little adjustment to, to things being quite this bright, but uh, we can adjust that. So, ambient light uh, adjustment. So hopefully, I don't mean that things are a little easier to see on YouTube, because I know YouTube makes things super dark. Um, what is that over there? Is that? Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at. Um, well, anyway, um, I'm hoping that I can actually start here, and when I have a mission, it's going to need the tracking station. But I'm not entirely sure, so this is a test, kind of. But if it's successful, then it'll go live. So, uh, right. So our mission is to uh, plot and perform an intercept with the moon with Surveyor Two. So off we go. All right. That seems to have been successful, and as you can see, we are in the dark side. And I think you can actually, you know, make make this up pretty pretty well. Um, it's a little, it's very strange for me to have things be this bright, but I I will get past it, I'm sure. Oh, one final place where this has not been configured correctly. Went through and tried to get this all set up ahead of time so I didn't have to do this on camera, but I didn't think there would be a separate one for map view in... I didn't think I'd have to reconfigure that. But anyway, so, moon, set as target. So we need, we want something like that. No, we want more like that there. So we want to impact the moon basically dead on. Right? So like uh, I think that that looks to be pretty good. Now, do we want to? First off, what kind of delta V is that? 811. And I think we still have that in this stage. Let's check that. Oh yeah, great. So yeah, we'll get ourselves set up here. I think, yeah, because we've got tons of delta V in, in our in our probe, so yeah, we'll we'll have that be our maneuver. So we'll do some. Actually, nope. You know what we'll do? We'll find Kerbal Alarm Clock. We'll add a maneuver alarm. Huh? I can just click it. How cool! That kill warp, yeah. So we should swing around, all right, and we're in the day side. So yeah, this, uh, just for um, talking about something, the uh, this ambient light adjustment is adjustable, so if this is a bit washed out, if this is a bit bright, um, you know, feel free to, to to tell me, and uh, and I can adjust it. So we don't need a couple alarm clock. So we're coming right up on it. I'm 
we'll do a mid-course correction with the probe itself, uh, just to get the inclination right. So yeah, we've we've gone far away from Kerbin. We have gone to to you know, Mooner Heights before with uh, Comnet uh, KBN2 um, being where the uh, Kerbin Moon L3, L4, and L5 points should be. Even if they're not actually there, the, there's satellites where the the points should be. Um, so let's let's just make sure that we're impacting correctly. That looks to be more or less correct. So we're gonna decouple, I think. Yep, that is perfect. So we're gonna set up a. Maneuver. But yeah, so um, we've never actually gone to the moon in this playthrough, so we will we will have fun with that. It's getting hard to see. Really need to change my um, my. call it uh, conic settings uh, okay so if we yeah that should be more or less polar so we'll go ahead and swing around We're getting some kind of weird wobble, am I? Uh, toggle torque. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, it gets a little wonky if you have uh, both reaction wheels running. But, uh, yeah, so let's set ourselves another maneuver alarm. Actually, just to get a better picture of uh, is the difference there. Yeah, that's plenty of difference. So we'll cut our, our thrust in half uh, just so that we get a nice, uh, a long enough burn that it can it can be handled by human reflexes. Although I suppose I should be practicing with um, with the uh, flight computer. Oh, then again, it's hard to argue with that. All right. So then we want maneuver at periapsis. capture to what looks darn close to a polar orbit. We will actually capture and then correct. And again, we're in the dark side. Just uh, another good time to kind of figure out if if this is bright enough or if it is too bright um, although bright enough probably um, for the ambient light adjustment so if it's if it's still too dark just let me know but let's get another maneuver going this is five hours which is almost a full day uh, Kerbin time, anyway. 
Here, I'm actually concerned about electrical charge. So I'm just going to uh, rotate to make sure that we get best... I'm actually going to, let's see, calm idle, so I'm going to deactivate that. I'm going to deactivate all of our uh, backup antenna. Why are you doing that? Yeah, can't afford to... oh, crap. We're just going to have to uh, accept that it's going to run out of power briefly, I think. Well, chasing the sunrise. Nope. Alright. Briefly out of power, but not for long. I can actually just zip on out there. Um, yeah, we do need to uh, keep in mind with these... Um, these lunar missions is that we need to, to pay attention to how long they're taking, uh, just because we need to make sure that our Kerbals in orbit stay supplied with snacks and, you know, water, oxygen, you know, the, the, the creature comforts. So it's been a day, and let's actually check up on it while we've got the opportunity. Okay, so they've still got 18 days on KBNA, um, and they've got over a month on KBNB, so that's that's plenty um, for this mission anyway. We might consider doing a, a resupply mission after this, but I'm just getting nervous that it's not actually going to stop me in time. Getting awfully close to the moon. What's our periapsis like, actually? Oh, oh, wow, that's that was real close. So let's get uh, pointed in the right direction. I don't know what's introducing this wobble. Oh, you know what it is? It's this isn't deployed. I think. Maybe. Why you oscillate? Why you do this? Well, that seems to have solved it. <laughs> I mean, let's see if that reintroduces the problem. Does not appear to. Wheels toggle torque. Okay. Well, we've actually got a, a decent burn time, so I'm going to increase it my, my thrust a little. We're going to go into the dark side. And we should be below the uh, the moon, so we should have. Good, good connection to um, the polar orbit should give us pretty good um, uptime with our with our satellites. I'm a little worried that our booster is not actually. Oh no! No! It doesn't matter. I'm just going to delete it later anyway. But still, it's annoying. I had. I had planned on it impacting the moon. Alright, 
what's our time? Okay, so another full day, basically. So, let's see. We want pretty much there. To add maneuver. Nope. It's much, much more polar. <laughs> yep, we're getting that weird pitch os oscillation again, so we'll try toggling, toggling torque until it sorts itself out. Given us this weird oscillation, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. We'll set up another maneuver. Get plenty of sun. We'll just cancel that then. And we'll point prograde. It, I mean, this should be a polar orbit for the sake of the probe. We're just gonna burn prograde until we've got something like that. Let's see if the scanner decides that it likes that. No, 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 point where I tell you. Alright, so that's not good enough. A thousand kilometers, okay. Alright, fair enough. Oh, we're going the, the opposite way to the way I thought we were. Never mind. day. Yeah, that, yeah that, looks like that, uh, that booster might still impact the moon at some point. Of course it might get kicked even higher, that'd be pretty funny. Alright, and it's bringing our, um, our uh, time warp down. <clears throat> the uh, stock antennas, of course, not needing to be ne used. This was a uh, problem with. I did track it down, and it was a problem with uh, with remote tech.
All right, so now, point. And now we perform orbital survey. Ha ha! That's that's it. Performing survey. Hey, hey, there we go. Done. All right. Well, that's that's just purdy. So now we've got a whole world of resources that we can uh, that we can scoop out, produce fuel, and go to places beyond. So, hey, that's a that's a good bit of exploration in my book. So we're off to a good start, I think. Anyway, uh, I've been Fox. This has been KSP. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Take care.